Simple and clean. Rashid makes his triumph return in Street Fighter 6, retaining all of his tools from the previous iteration, as well as some new tricks that already make veterans and rookies rank for the top tier on release. Let's look at that drip. Ooh. In this guide, I intend to show you how he operates from the ground up, from his normals, links, specials, cancels, supers, and situations in which you would use all of them. Rashid's standing light punch is a four frame normal, plus four on hit, and negative one on block. It can chain into itself for some mean slaps three times on hit and twice on block. It can also chain into crouching light punch and crouching light kick. And it can link into standing light kick, but they both do about the same damage. It will link into all versions of the spinning mixer when close enough. Uh, you can do three light punches into light and medium spinning mixer and two standing light punches into heavy spinning mix mixer. Uh, none of his other special moves will be able to connect. Crouching Light Punch is a 5 frame normal, plus 5 on hit, and negative 1 on block. It can chain into itself like the previous, 3 times on hit and twice on block. It can also chain into Crouching Light Kick and Standing Light Punch. It can also link into Standing Light Kick, which does about the same damage. At point blank range, that's three light punches into a light and medium spinning mixer and then two light punches into a heavy spinning mixer but it doesn't have enough hit stun to cancel to any other specials crouching light kick is a five frame that'll leave you plus three on hit and minus one on block it is not special cancelable but because it's slow you should be able to chain it into crouching light punch or standing light punch you can only get one crouching light punch afterwards, but because of the distance that standing light punch covers, you should be able to get two of those afterwards. Or crouching light kick into crouching light punch into standing light punch. Standing light kick is a four frame that'll leave you plus three on hit and negative one on block. This will allow you to cancel into Light Arabian Cyclone and Light Eagle Spike. Rashid's Standing Medium Punch is a 6 frame that'll leave you plus 5 on hit and plus 1 on block. It's pretty stubby and has about the same range as his standing light punch. Can link into standing light punch from closer ranges, but it also has enough hit stun that you can cancel it into all spinning mixers. Medium Eagle Spike. Medium Arabian Cyclone and even Heavy Eagle Shot. This time around, this beautiful Arabian Knight has a launcher for a target combo that functions similar to Ken's. Special cancelable, um, mid-screen you should be able to use level 1 Eagle Shot. In the corner, you should be able to do a delayed level 1, even a level 2. Only medium and overdrive spinning mixers work out of the corner. Spinning light mixer doesn't work in the corner at all. It will also link into heavy Arabian Cyclone and allows follow-ups from that, as well as Overdrive Cyclone. His 6 MP, his forward medium punch, is a two-hit command normal. Um, both hits are plus one on hit, or if you connect with both hits, they're plus one on hit and negative three on block. The first hit is special cancelable and can be used in juggle combos, similar to how Jury functions. It has 23 frames of hit stun, the first hit does, 
which means that you're able to cancel it into medium eagle spike, light eagle shot for max range. If you're up close, you could do medium and heavy eagle shot. You can also link it to heavy spinning mixer from close range or light and medium spinning mixer from distant ranges and medium Arabian side punch. Crouching medium punch has deceptive range on a grounded opponent. Um, Anti-air potency with an upward hitbox that looks similar to Manon's anti-air normal. It's a six frame startup, plus four on hit and plus one on block, and it can link into standing light punch. It's also special cancel. If you use this as an anti-air, it will reset your opponent if it's from an empty jump, a counter, or a punish counter, so you can't get any special follow-ups that will connect afterwards. However, you can throw out an eagle shot varying from any strength to light to heavy, and you'll be able to be anywhere from plus three to plus six on block, or plus nine to plus 12 on hit. Standing medium kick is a forward advancing long range poke normal. Has eight frames of startup, plus six on hit, but it's negative three on block, so you're still fairly safe. While not special cancelable, it's good for confirming hits or blocks from your opponent. If they block, you'll still be relatively safe, while, in, while on hit, you can pursue a full launcher combo from his medium punch heavy kick target combo. Crouching medium kick is a seven frame startup. It'll leave you negative five on block and negative one on hit but this button was meant to be special canceled. It can check your opponents from a, a safe distance and, and cancel into a plethora of your normals to keep you safe. On block, you can use light spinning mixer to stay at negative two. On hit, however, you can cancel into light Arabian cyclone, light eagle spike, light and medium eagle shot from close dif distances. You can frame trap them as well if they block the medium kick but you decide to mash on your on your follow-up standing heavy punch is a nine frame startup it's plus one on hit and minus four on block has some good horizontal range and it can be special canceled it's a medium eagle spike light eagle shot for max range medium and heavy eagle shots from closer ranges Heavy spinning mixer from close range, light and medium spinning mixers from max distance, and also medium Arabian cycle. Crouching heavy punch is a 12 frame startup normal. It's plus five on hit and minus six on block, so you're gonna be eating that, especially since it's not special cancelable. But if you use it as the normal after drive rush, you can link it into a standing heavy punch as well as a crouching medium kick. This button isn't good for anti-air. I'm jumping down heavy punch, jumping to heavy punch, however the notation you respect it is. Um, it provides an additional jump as well. So you can use it if you know that your opponent doesn't have a proper anti-air or, or is flustered or in uh, burnout and you just want to apply pressure you can mix this in uh, willy-nilly you know you, you've got your you can do a 2 HP into your other jump or you can use your jumping 2 HP into your air jump into another 2 HP into your double overhead special to try and open up your opponent you can do some pretty nasty things when when you've got your opponent trapped in the corner Standing heavy kick is negative one on hit and negative five on block. It's not special cancelable. However, you can use it for anti airs if you can read your opponent fast enough. There's also some use in combo juggling as well. Um, and for punish counter, you can get a heavy spinning mixer off. Crouching heavy kick is a sweep. Don't use it unless you know that it's gonna connect because it's super unsafe. Forward Heavy Punch is Rashid's overhead. 22 frame startup, plus three on hit, minus three on block. Can be used as 
you know, a, a drive rush opener or something that looks different from his aerial dash overheads that you can use after, after Arabian Cycle. Forward heavy kick, contrary to how the animation of it is, is not an overhead. It will high profile low attacks, but your opponent can block this by crouch block. It does not have to be blocked high. Right, it's a 16 frame startup, negative three on block, so it's still safe, plus two on hit. I believe Rashid is the first person in this game that doesn't have a command run. It's just a, a regular dash that turns into a run if you hold the button long enough. Um, it does look like there's a little bit of a run stop animation, so I'm not quite sure if you can block it immediately. I wasn't able to lab it properly. However, after these, after his run, you have two options. He has backup, which allows you to low profile projectiles and will side switch on hit. On block, it does not side switch. It's negative 10 point blank if you use it right in front of your opponent. However, you, can, I have been able to get it as low as negative one at a max distance so you can make it safe his other follow-up are his kicks now these also are not overheads they it, it's deceptive but it your opponent can block this crouching they're negative four on block and they're plus three on hit they also receive a different type of property when you have Rashid's air current available comes a 56 frame knockdown with a, a bounce so there's a possibility for some combo follow-up and then it becomes negative five on block so you, you can still you can get punished so about Rashid's air card it affects a plethora of tools that he has at his disposal one it'll increase his run speed Two, it'll change the trajectory of his jumps. Even his neutral jump gets a slight forward added trajectory to it. It'll also affect the distance of his overhead, his forward heavy punch. It'll also affect the distance of his forward heavy kick, as well as the distance of his forward medium punch. All versions of Eagle Spike get added benefits, quicker startup, more damage, safer on block, and that includes the Overdrive version. His spinning mixers also get some added benefits. They all get quicker startup and more damage. Uh, your, the light version will be plus. The medium version might be safe depending on where on screen you use it. Um, and, but the heavy version will still remain unsafe. Rashid's eagle shot is 17 frames without being charged. It does 35 frames of hit stun uncharged and 52 frames of hit stun while it is charged. It does 27 frames of block stun uncharged and 44 frames of block stun when it is charged. Point blank, you can get it to be about plus eight. Uh, you can use the light version for long distance, of course, fireball wars. You can use medium if you sense your opponent trying to jump in from far away or doing a neutral jump in the air. The heavy version has an exponential trajectory, so it'll be more of an anti-air if you can read your opponent doing it as well, just like his standing heavy kick. Uh, 
the EX version will launch your opponent as well, so you can do further combos. While charging your Eagle Shot, you will also get the added benefit of his Air Current, which will power up your next move. Rashid retains his spinning mixer from Street Fighter V, and just like in V, the light version sends you forward, the medium version will send you diagonally up and forward, and the heavy version will go straight up. However, unlike V, you can't just mash the button to get additional hits, you'll actually need the air current in order to use up his attack moves. On counter hit, the light version can be linked with a light punch, so you can extend your combo from there. You can use the medium version after a combo to get some great corner carry as well. And the heavy version, of course, is an anti-air, pure and simple. The EX version is invincible, so that'll be your, your reversal. In the corner, you can link the medium version of spinning mixer into the EX version of spinning mixer, sort of like DJ's upkicks. The, the overdrive version of this attack can be followed up with your air special after powering up from an air current for further attack sequences. Like I stated before, all versions of spinning mixers will get an added buff from the air current. Rashid now has the Arabian Sky High special move. This is an in-place projectile that allows for a secondary jump that promotes further combo ability. You can use this after a... You can cancel this from a jumping medium punch, however you can use it at any time. As you can see there are several corner overhead combos in which you can use this consistently. The kick strength will determine the jump height. The overdrive version will always do a knockdown. And again, the overdrive version's distance will be influenced by the directions that you're holding after performing the overdrive. Rashid's Eagle Spike is a great combo ender, great for gaining that corner distance. Um, it has a, a, a wide distance of attack similar to Blanca and Honda's charge moves. However, on block they seem to be negative 36, which means if your opponent is cognizant enough, they can do a dash in heavy attack. So this isn't an attack that you want to throw out there lightly. It's something that you definitely want to try and punish or challenge your opponent. It counts as airborne, so it will go over Jury's projectiles, her foot projectiles. The heavy version will give you enough knockdown to charge an eagle shot, I believe, up to level 3 uninterrupted. The overdrive version will cause your opponent to pop it in the air, also allowing for further combo ability. The overdrive version also causes a side switch. So his Arabian Cyclone on hit, it will leave you plus 2. For the light version, the medium version will leave you at plus four, which means you can link it into a standing light punch and continue on with different combo routes. Uh, the heavy version will give you a knockdown that you can also use to link into his follow-up, and the EX version will leave you with a knockdown and the air current to use your different powered up special moves. On block, however, the light version is negative six, the medium version will leave you at negative four, the heavy version will leave you at negative two, but the overdrive version will leave you at negative 10. Rashid's got about three follow-up options from Arabian Cyclone. The first one is wing stroke, so after you input the fan, you also press back and kick. Any version should suffice. What this will do is give you an airborne mix-up, sort of like an anime air dash. The second one is a roll. For most instances, you can make this safe from the medium version and the heavy version. Just sort of as a, a forward moving momentum kind of thing. Uh, you can use it to kind of play with your opponent's head, sort of like DJ's light Sobot. Uh, the third option following up the roll is his kick. Uh, this option should only be used after a confirmed hit off of the, I want to say the heavy and 
EX versions of Arabian Cyclone because it's negative 10 on block. Rashid's level one. Invincible wake up option if you don't want to use any of your drive meter. Um, it does more damage to a grounded opponent, but it can be used as a combo ender or an anti-air. Rashid's level two, the Great Desert Storm, Esar. I'm sure we've all seen the clips, but we're not here to talk about that. Uh, this move is a buff as well as an attack. Um, it slowly travels throughout the screen. If your opponent gets too close, it'll do damage to them. The storm will continuously move forward, and as long as it's on the screen, all of your special moves will get the air current buffs. So it would behoove you if you were to use them as mix-ups instead of just trying to use it as an attack which it, it still can very well be used as but you definitely want to maximize the juice that you get out of it your level three is also going to be a reversal a combo ender and anti-projectile hope you guys like this video I had different projects in the mix, but you know, I got super excited when I saw Rashid was coming out, so I definitely wanted to put my, my focus on getting this one out as soon as possible. Um, right now, I've got Blanca and Manon in the mix. Uh, of course, as always, if there is a character that you want to see, please leave a comment. Um, like if you like, dislike if you didn't. Uh, let me know how I can improve or let me know what you like. Uh, hope to see you guys in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.